New summoning jutsu have been confirmed in Naruto to Boruto Shinobi's Dragon. Hello, what is up, guys? Um, I'm coming to you with another video, just a a little information video that uh, Globgu has been posting. Um, thanks to Globgu for providing the link for the for the information I'm about to give you. There's a lot of stuff to cover here, and I want to get into all of it as fast as possible, so I don't bore you guys. So first of all, as you can see, we've got a couple things confirmed here and not all of them are going to be taught to you by a mentor, which is kind of crazy, which allows for so many new possibilities that none of us have even thought about. You can see Susano, you can see some new Genjutsu at the bottom right, you can see the, the trapping ninjutsu at the bottom left, it's fucking, it's insane. But first, um, we want to go into the first one, which is um, the Seven Heavenly Gates, first of all. We didn't know who was going to teach that, but now we know. Um, it's just going to be a ninja that you're going to have at the start, or you're going to be able to choose from. Um, at the bottom left, all I can see is that it's going to be a dash to close the gap between like range type people. And it, it could be useful, I've seen this in a, uh, in a couple gameplays from Bandai. When they did a little live stream, if you've let, if you've seen it, let me know. Um, at the bottom right, we can see Leaf Whirlwind from Rock Lee. I, I, I didn't think he was gonna teach you this because I already knew all of his ninjutsu that he was gonna teach you at the start. So now, now we know where these are coming from. Now we know where all these ninjutsu are coming from, and it's really exciting to get into the rest of them. Oh, this one, this next one had me the most hype, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so, starting off with the ultimate ninjutsu, we look like we have the Raikage's lightning, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's like a lightning body sort of thing. He charges himself with lightning, basically uses this on Sasuke when he fights in the, in the Kage Summit, and it allows him to move at blinding speed. I can't wait to see how that actually works in game. Also, at the bottom left, you can see that we've summoned a snake out of there. I don't know if it's actually out of there, but I'd love to think it was. Um, it's gonna fight at your side as well, man. It's gonna be so crazy. Um, so we just know that summoning ninjutsu are actually just ninjutsu. Like you can just use it whenever you want with the with a cooldown and stuff. That's pretty cool. And then um, finally at the bottom right I can see Lariat, I think. I think that's Lariat. Um or a lightning punch. Like the um like the Raikage's punch. It's either that or Lariat, which either way I'd love it. Love it to pieces, man. It's so cool. Okay, on to the range types. First ninjutsu and this is this is just fire style straight up man. Alright, all I can see in this uh, ninjutsu, we've seen it. We've actually seen it in gameplay, but uh, I can't remember what the name was, but I I personally thought it was um, Great Fire Annihilation, which Madara does in the Great Ninja War. Um, for the bottom left ninjutsu, it looks like Dragon Flame Loud singing jutsu, or Fire Bombs, or uh, Dragon Flame Bomb even, sorry. Um, and the bottom right one, it's 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 hard to it's hard to put, but I think it's the uh, explosive fireball. That's what I think it is um, that we've we've had to reveal to us already. So not much to that's new here, but very exciting stuff. Okay, for this next range type ninjutsu, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> we got Susano. We've got another Susano in the fucking bag. Let's go. Okay, it looks like we've got Sasuke Susano um, Flame Control Arrow, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Range type ninjutsu, of course. And I, I hope it works a bit like how it did in J Stars, where it just explodes. But I also really want a, a ninjutsu that actually you can actually walk around in the Susano. It'd be cool, but you know, can't have everything. Alright, bottom left, it looks like we've got a Salamander. And then um, we've already seen what this kind of does in a screenshot of the game. If you played the beta, it actually shoots like a water bullet at you, which is kind of awesome. You know, you can leave it there as a turret if you play Overwatch, a bit like Torbjorn. And then at the bottom right, we have a uh, 
Chidori Sharp Spear or Lightning Net as they call it, but I, I still think it's just Chidori Spear. But um Susano, great. Summoning Jutsu, great. New Lightning Star Jutsu, great. Next up on the list we have the first defense type ninja 2 at the top you can see it is a big punch to the ground which allows you to stun a wide area of enemies and damage them maybe. Um, we already know what this dude is called but I can't remember because I'm stupid. Uh, but you know, I, I know what it does, that's, that's the main thing. And um, bottom left we can see it's a bit like maze ice block from Overwatch. Um, you basically encase yourself in earth or stone or whatever and you're completely safe. We don't know if it saves you from absolutely everything. So maybe a Kirin will be able to get you to come out or whatever. Um, could kill you, so don't rely on it too much, but you know, we'll know soon enough. And the bottom right, ah, uh, Earth Star Mud Wall. My, my dear god. Um, this is gonna be awesome. I, I just wanna I wanna build one and then run up it or like build a box or just just something to trap somebody in it, you know. Um if you watch my video on a uh, on Yamato we made a wood dome and it was it was lovely and yeah. So can't wait to experiment with all these ninjutsu. And the last uh defense type ninjutsu that we are going to get, of course, as the ultimate jutsu is we get Watch Prison Ninjutsu, which uh, many of us have played already, played with, we've already experienced it. Traps your enemies in a wide radius and uh, it allows for a lot of combos. But the exciting part is, at the bottom left, you can see that we summon a Toad. And wow, uh, like we, we saw in a scan already Naruto summoning a Toad. But we didn't actually know, know where it come from because Naruto had different ninjutsu further on. We thought it was just like, oh, maybe they changed Naruto like halfway through. But no, it turns out uh, it's real. And um, it shoots water bullets at you again. It's going to be awesome. I hope it moves, actually. I hope it just gets around and does its own thing, which would be really cool. And for the last ninjutsu on the bottom right, I am not entirely sure what he's doing there. He looks like he's knocking back pain with um, a swift left backhand. But I'm not entirely sure what it actually is that he's doing. Um, I'm sure when we get some translations in, sorry for it being Japanese by the way, I'm so, so late in the video right now. Um, but as soon as we get some translation from the Japanese, uh, we'll know what that does, exactly what it does. But let's get on to the healer types. Okay, for the healer types, for the ultimate ninjutsu, we've got this ceiling or some sort of paralysis ninjutsu that extends to a wider range. And um, I think we've seen this in Boruto, but like a re it's like in a reverse type of uh, deal with Kakashi and... Uh, yeah, becoming tuning or Genin or whatever. But then um, that happens, and um, it looks like it just traps people into a into a, a radius. So it's not just a uh, defense type ninjutsu that's going to be able to do that with the water prison and whatever. Bottom left, the trusty paralysis jutsu that we used in the newest beta. So we already know what that does. It traps somebody in place and holds them there for a short amount of time. And the Palm Sage Jutsu, nothing too new here. We've already seen scans of pretty much everything here. Um, but, you know, can't have everything. Next one. And for the final scan of the healer type ninjutsu that you'll be getting uh, at the top, I can only assume that is going to be a Genjutsu from what it looks like. It looks an awful lot like Kabuto's Feathers Ninjutsu, or Genjutsu even. That he's going to be having as an ultimate ninjutsu. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is. But as soon as we get a translation. We'll be able to know. Bottom left. Is what is most exciting to me. And it is Lady Katsuyu summoning. So what this is. It looks an awful lot like. Uh, it heals in an area. Like a radius of healing. 
But I wonder how much healing output it's going to do because Sarada actually has a, a Jutsu similar to this where she heals like in an area using kunai knives and placed in, in, in a radius. So I'm wondering what the difference is between these two. Like, I guess in, in the summoning version of this, you're going to have to actually kill Lady Katsuyu to even stop the healing from happening. Which I think is a lot better than what Sarada has, but then why choose Sarada's ninjutsu if you can just have Lady Katsuyu come in and do the healing for you? Maybe the lower cooldowns, who knows? Let me know in the comment section below. Bottom right, I can only see this as gentle fist style because of how this uh, custom character is posed. Using the palm mostly for attack and then somebody goes flying. Uh, I can only say it might be air palm, but at the same time, Hinata might teach you air palm. I'll have to confirm that completely. But um, uh, so yeah, I think it's just gentle fist style. I don't see why it would be a thing though, because I don't see anybody else. Oh, or maybe it's rotation. Maybe it's rotation. Oh, but then, but then they would show the ball. Then would they would show the ball? All right, whatever. Um, this is this is just gonna be a wild speculation video. Man. But that is it for this video. It's been way too long already. I didn't want to keep it or well, make it this long, but um, it had to be done. There's just so much to cover in this, and um, and I hope when the scans come in with translations it'll be a lot clearer to what these actually are but um thank you guys so much for watching and um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the scans and um i'll get back to you on that um i've been hakai peace